the Honorable Minister of FCT, His Excellency Barista Nyeson Wike, the Honorable Member representing Abuja South, my colleague, and the representative of the Chairman of House Committee, Chairman of FCT Area Council and Ozlari Matters, my senior colleague in the National Assembly who laid the foundation for us that we are standing on today, right Honorable Deputy Speaker of House of Representatives, Chibi Dohuke, my leader, Senator Philip Aduda, Senator Sekibo, Senator Magnus Abe, and the other former senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, a member of House of Representatives. Good afternoon. The FCT Area Council's Chairman, the Mandate Secretary, Chief of Staff, Royal Fathers, good afternoon. The Lord. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, some months ago we were in Kuali, like the Chairman rightly said. I was expecting another road within the Kuali town. But when I was coming here, I now called one of the protocols. He said, sir, use hillocks, use hillocks. I said, what well, sir? I say, sir, use hillocks because this road, oh, jeep. That's what he said. I said, what well, I say, sir, we are still on our way. We have never gotten to the destination. I was wondering in my mind, where is the place? So when we take the road, we even pass. The VL have to flag us that we have to revise back and come in. When I was coming, I was coming, I was thinking. In my mind, something was going through my mind. I said, where is the, where is the end? Where is the end? Where is the end? To some point, I was afraid. I said, are, are you sure we are on the same track? But on getting there, I started asking questions. And I said, I don't know. What kind of covenant that the Honorable Minister and Mr. President enter with the people of FCT Area Council? And I go down, I thought of a verse in the Bible. First Samuel chapter 20, verse 14 to 17, where David and Jonathan have a covenant. Another grace a little again, and I'll go to where the covenant between David and Jonathan was fulfilled in Second Samuel chapter 9, verse 3, down to 7, where David become the king, and he remember the covenant he had with Jonathan. And he called for them, and he fulfilled that covenant. I said, I don't know. I know that one of their own, my leader, Philip Aduda, was his friend. I don't know whether it's that covenant. But I now looked deep. I said, this is more than that covenant because the Honorable Minister have passion for the people of FCT and the people of Abuja. And the minister is doing so wonderfully well to connect the area council to the FCT. The satellite town is created to, to decongest the capital city. And now, with this kind of infrastructure, infrastructural development, you can live anywhere in FCT and you can work in the federal capital because the social infrastructure are there already. Minister, I want to thank you very much. Because what affects the eyes affects the nose. There is an adage in Hausa language, and we have seen it. And uh, the people of this rural area, I'm sure very soon they will become people in this city. Because all the area council will be a mini city before the end of this administration with the way you are going with this wonderful job. I was in the National Assembly under the leadership of my leader, the uncommon president of the Senate, Senator Gospel Akpabio. We have resolved. As far as you are not tired of lifting the flag of Renew Hope high, and we are not tired to support you anywhere, anyhow you want. Thank you very much, and God bless. The very distinguished Senator Jim Kuta is it's, it's a Taraba indigen. But as you hear when he talks, you know that he is a citizen of Abuja and the FCT holding the area councils and ancillary matters 
Today, Senator Jim Kuta quoted the Bible concerning covenants and understands the passion that the Honorable Minister has for Abuja and the Area Council. And the Honorable Minister knows his Area Councils like the back of his hand. So he found this place and decided that this road has to be constructed. Let's give a round of applause to the Honorable Minister. Your Excellencies, very distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the vote of thanks, as I said earlier, always remains the fulcrum of gratitude by the FCT administration to those who have provided the requisite support in kind, presence, and deed. And those who have constantly done so have always been former senators who are like a recurring decimal who support the Honorable Minister and show up everywhere he has a project commission. The very distinguished Senator Magnus Abbey, Senator Mao Habunwa, Senator George Sekibo, Senator Aduda, and always the APC South South Vice Chair, who always comes to represent the APC National Chairman. And of course, Prince Chibudung Muche, His Excellency, the Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives in the former National Assembly. We have, of course, other distinguished senators who are here serving and retired, and they always come here to provide the support that is required for the Honorable Minister to keep moving and to keep pushing. It's time now to us to invite the lady who will give the vote of thanks, the head of service, Mrs. Grace Adailo, will make her way to the podium to deliver the vote of thanks today. Please help me welcome our newly minted head of service who is making her way to the podium to deliver the vote of thanks and would capture in chapters those who may, I may have missed. The head of service, thank you. Thank you, the MC. Your Excellency, Chief Barista is the one next weekend. CON, the Honorable Minister of FCT. The Chairman, Senate Committee on FCT. Our brother, distinguished David Jim Kuta. Our own dear brother, Senator Philip Aduda. The Honorable, uh, Honorable Abraham Najia, member representing Abuja South. Distinguished members of National Assembly are present. The six area council chairmen across the FCT, most especially our host, Honorable Danla the Chair, the Algo himself. The Chief of Staff to the Honorable Minister of FCT, Chairman of FCT Civil Service Commission, Executive Secretary of FCDA, the minded and the permanent secretaries here of FCT, the managing director and the staff of L and D Nigeria Limited, the royal fathers here present, security chiefs here present, the coordinator of STDD, directors and the top management of FCT staff, members of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the FCT Minister, His Excellency Chief Barista Ezewan Nelson Wike, CON, the Honorable Minister, the Honorable Minister of State in absentia of this administration, let me begin by stating that today another history has been made in the wave of infrastructural revolution in nation's capital city, being championed by the Chief Barista Nelson Wike the late administration. As you are aware today, marks the seven of unabated and uninterrupted flag of, of critical projects in federal capital city and area councils by Mr. Project himself. Indeed, this is a real feat that no minister has ever achieved this since the inception of FCT. We are so grateful, sir. It is our firm belief that this project will not only open up Kuali Area Council, but also attract the investors to the council. On this note, I wish to thank the members of the National Assembly, the local organizing committee, our royal fathers, religious bodies, security agencies, the contractor, members of the press, staff of the FCT administration, and everyone who has traveled far and near on this smooth road to grace this important event. May Almighty God take us safely 
and we are wishing a journey message. Thank you. The head of service has delivered her vote of thanks, and on behalf of the Honorable Minister and all um, FCT administration members, she has greeted all of you for making the time to come here. And I like the fact that she described the road that we came through as a very smooth road. We thank the head of service. Please give her a hand. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, your top-level administration come with you everywhere they go, to include the Chairman, FCT Civil Service Commission, and all the eggheads in your um, administration who have made this possible. But we all know that determination, legacy, and intention are the key words for all the projects you are flagging us. The description of the general idea of opening up the area councils and providing infrastructure for citizens in Kwali Area Council is considered unprecedented, particularly in this area of Kwali Area Council. To be determined is to be single-minded. To think of legacy is to envision tomorrow. To be intentional is to plan, proceed, and execute. Here then is a man who looks at legacy, who is determined, and who is intentional. Building on the work of his predecessors in the FCT and adding his own stamp, his own legacy, to new projects that he's opening up everywhere in Abuja and doing the roads in a manner that makes a friend say, I arrived at Sokoro after six months and I was not sure where I was. This is how it has been for the last couple of months. Doing things that seem ordinary in an extraordinary way. The man who invited us to be part of a slice of history in Kwali Area Council. Please help me welcome the FCT Minister, Ezenwo Nyesom Wiki. The Senate Committee Chairman, Aurelia Council, and Lord of Zillary Matters, my dear brother, Senator Jim Kuta, the representative of Abuja South in the House of Representatives, the representative of the Chairman of House Committee of Media Council and other artillery matters are there. Are there the same senators, seven of you that are here, but let me give honor to whom honor is due, somebody who has shown connection to his people, somebody his people have identified who has contributed so much to them and somebody that will continue to represent his people, Senator Philip Tanimo Adudua. I have two zonal chairmen, the zonal chairman of APC, Chief Victor Gadam of South South, and Chief Danabe, zonal chairman of PDP from South South, uh, all here. The former Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives, Pratt Robert Chibudum Uche. The single senators who came with me, who has always been with us since last week from Monday, Senator Magnus Abe, Senator Mao Habuwa, Senator uh, George Thompson Sekibo, Senator Professor Sandy Ono, and other former National Assembly members that are here, Chairman of Area Council, Senator Makawogo, Chairman of Area Councils, particularly the Chairman of Algon, who is the Chairman of Kwali Local Government. I want to certainly thank all of you. The Chief of Staff, the Head of Service, Monday Secretaries and Permanent Secretaries that are here, our dear leaders, our royal fathers, who have come out here in their numbers to support what is going on here today.
let me recognize the managing director of L and D Nigeria Limited, who spoke very well on behalf of L and D, and who has given commitment of what they are going to do. The group managing director of Abuja Investment uh, Company, that is here. Gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, of all the programs we have had, of all the projects we have flagged off, this is particularly touching. This particular project is particularly touching. When we were coming and we were discussing with Senator Mao, we have one in the, in the car. First of all, something happened, and I want to find out, and that's why this country, well, Director of Engineering is here, Director of Engineering Services of STD is here, come, come, STD coordinator is here, come. Now, you see why this country is difficult that we will move forward. Now, most of you may not understand. First then, most of you don't understand why they are coming from the express road. They call that A2 to Pi. Now, they abandoned to award our contract and started from Pi to Gomani. Now, if you do Pi to Gomani, how do you come to Pi when that aid is not working? Whoever that masterminded that, you are not being fair. You are not being fair. And we can continue this way. The truth must be told at all uh, time. So as I was coming, I called the chairman of House Committee on FCT. I said, Mr. Chairman, I have a problem. And that problem is that I want to have a vehement. That is a budget. I feel that, look, we're all human. We're all human. How will those people feel that you are passing the area that's no road? And then you are coming to an area that, I mean, how would they feel? So Mr. Chairman agreed with me and said immediately I should send the letter for vermin. I called the permanent secretary treasury and I called it the help of procurement. I said, before I come back, let the letter be on my table, that we have to make vermin of a particular sum. And we are going to do A2 to Pi as a emergency project. Go. Go, coordinator, go. You see, that is the advantage, that is the advantage of coming to see the project you are doing. Assuming we did not come here to flag on this project. And tomorrow, the same project is ready for commissioning. And then you are coming. There's no road. I said, where are we heading to? Then you get to Pi. Then the road is good. The people of Pi will never forgive you. So, and that is why you know the government of Bola Ahmed Tinibu will allow everybody to benefit, to participate, to have the dividend of democracy. Are you happy? Are you happy? So, and, and that is what I have told our people. Mr. President, I promise you, give me time. Be patient. 
I will get to all of you. What I mean all of you, not as a person, but to all the area councils. You must have the impact of the government of Aswaji Ahmed Bola Tinibu, who is the president and commander in chief. Let me tell you, and I want to say clearly, let anybody hear me. Ahmed Tinibu did not make me minister to come and sell land here. I did not become a minister to come and sell land. I took the position to support Mr. President to prove an infrastructure of that city. And that is why every day our concern is infrastructure, 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 and infrastructure. Be it in the city, be it in the rural uh, area. So some of those who had the opportunity to be minister here, who may be angry, who claim they love you, ask them, what happened when you were minister? Did you come to the rural areas? Did you come to the rural areas? Did you see them? Are you seeing us now? And you are happy now? That is what the government of Aswaji Bola Tribu stands uh, for. The people must see you. The people must have the impact of you. We are not going to television just to talk. We don't believe in 3Ds. Do we believe in 3Ds? Our own is seeing is what? Believing. Let me tell the contractor, now you have made your pledge. We also make our own pledge here. If we can even try to do less than 12 months, your money is available. Because look at why should Nigeria complain about food? Look at land. Why should we import food? But why would you not have problem of food when there's no road? Even if our farmers have access, assuming they go on this track road to the farm and they produce food, how would they bring it to the city without road? Now that they have road, would they bring their food out? I thank all of you. Support the company. So this project will be completed on schedule. I thank the area council chairman. You have shown commitment. It is not based on party affiliation. Party is a vehicle that conveys you to a destination. And then you talk about governance. Governance has nothing to do, I mean PDP. Governance has nothing to do with I mean APC. Governor, I'm going to do, I'm representing the Labour Party somewhere. Governance has to do with the people, the happiness of the people. That's all about governance. Reducing the sufferings of the people. So whether you're in PDP, whether you're in APC, where you don't even belong to any party, you must use this road, is it not? And that's all we are talking about. So this road is very, very important. Very, very important. No matter how far it is, we will make our time from time to time to see that we we'll come here and see the contractor is doing what he's supposed to do. Now, the coordinator of STD and the director of engineering let me say this. We must help our people and reduce bureaucratic bottleneck so we can achieve results. Sometimes we allow a procurement process to take three, four months. Now we're having the dry season. If we don't utilize it now, then we'll not be able to achieve the results. 
So when you have to monitor and see how the contractor is performing, and also be sending his certificate for payment, don't delay the certificate because we have not seen the contractor. The only way I can see the contractor is that the contractor is working here. The contractor should not see anywhere. And that is the truth of the matter. Let us make our people happy. I mean, we cannot say we support them as a president to be president, and then we'll not support him to succeed. Does it make sense? Having, succeed, having uh, supported him to win the election, we must then be on whatever it is, you know, to, give him, uh, to make him to succeed for Nigerians to be happy, for Nigerians to move forward. Our traditional rulers, we want to thank you for the support you have been giving to the area council chairman for a collaboration to see that you work in harmony. When the chairman of Kwali said, I've never touched the allocation, I don't even know what she has. Our chairman of one of the most richest local government in those days. I don't know what it is now. I was a governor for eight years. Not just a governor, a very important governor then. So I don't know why I should be tampering the government uh, for. It's not necessary. Why should I tamper with your phone? You campaigned. You told your people if they elect you, this is what they're going to do. Well, I'm a terrible campaign. I said, if he's elected, this is what we're going to do. Therefore, we are focused on making sure that the president succeeds and achieves what he has told the people. So, so we want you to succeed because you campaigned to your people. They should vote for you. If they vote for you, you are going to do this and you are going to do that. I feel proud when I see a council chairman come out to say, sir, I want you to challenge me. Come to and see what I'm doing. That was what it used to be when we were chairman of council. Yes, it is not easy for you to see a council chairman to come in the public to say, sir, challenge me. Come. That was what was happening in our own days. We challenged the government. We challenged the state government. And people saw what we did up to today. People saw what we did. And that's why, as a minister, too, this opportunity given to Robert, Mr. President, we will not let it go like that. We say, Mr. President, you do not make mistake. Particularly when people opposed vehemently. Uh, for becoming Minister of FCT. I thank the President for giving us this opportunity to show them the way, to show them the difference. And we are showing them the difference. If you didn't dare, you didn't dare. It doesn't matter how many times you abuse me. It doesn't matter, matter whatever you say. If you don't have the capacity, you don't have the capacity. We have the capacity. So I thank you. Please, the contractor, utilize this period. We're well, going to November, December, January, February, March. By that time, probably we'll have finished all the earthwork. And then, even if rain comes, we'll not have much problem. I believe in you, I know. I see your capacity. I see how many jobs you have done. So you're not one of those contractors that we're going to marry the second wife or third wife now. No. I know that you fully concentrate and finish this job. So on that note, my dear brothers and sisters, I join you to join us as we flag off this Pi Gomani, and then we'll come back and flag off later A2 to Pi. Thank you, and God bless you.
Again, the Honorable Minister has spoken his mind. He has talked about how the other part of the road he is going to ensure the environment to make it possible. As I said much earlier, food is the center of Nigeria. And our food is unprecedented all over the world. Our jollof rice, our fufu, our pounded yam. Nobody can contest Nigerian food and the farms are here in Pai Gomani Road, and, and all of it will be brought to fruition in a couple of months' time. We congratulate the SCT administration, and as the minister mounts the grader and flags off this road, as always, when he comes down from the grader, it will be time for the group photograph and then the national anthem. The Honorable Minister is already seated in the grader to flag off this project. And very soon, the contractors will go to work, and there will be more food, more corn, more cassava coming out of this area into the city. The Honorable Minister waves. He makes his way down. His strategic leaders and senators and members of House will stand beside him for the group photograph when he comes down from the grader. And we'd like to hear another round of applause for that flag off, please. A big round of applause to show that it has been flagged off. And then the Honorable Minister comes down for a group photograph with strategic partners and the contractors. And that group photograph is the last thing that happens for this event. time to call media to please play the national anthem at this time. Nigeria, 